I would give the pain a 10. Um, a lot of people do tell you it's not that bad and things like that, but me personally, it hurt it really, 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 really. Eyelid dermatitis, eyelid eczema. I see this a lot in adults. When you're a baby, you get a lot of eczema on your cheeks, hands, your arms, it can affect the body. As you become an adult, especially in the winter time, I see eczema affecting the eyelids, the neck, the hands, the shins quite a bit. But when it happens on the eyelids and it's pretty brand new, it's adult onset eczema or eyelid dermatitis, I'm gonna look at your fingernails and I noticed that this creator had some fingernail polish. And so talk to your dermatologist about potential outside jobs that could be getting on your skin, causing your eczema to flare or to cause an eczema-like rash we call a contact dermatitis. And I'm seeing a lot of people having allergic contact dermatitis. They're getting sensitivity to the acrylics, the acrylates in your nail products. It doesn't have to be acrylic nails. It could be gel nails, it could be nail polish. So just keeping that in mind that nail polish can be the culprit for eyelid dermatitis and it can cause a rash on your eyelid before causing any issues on your hands because this is very delicate skin. Your eyelid skin is the thinnest skin on your body. So just keep that in mind. Hope you're seeing your dermatologist to get some help. Take care, peace.